Okay, so this topic Tuesday is going to be like chilling vibes. Um, it is the end of the long weekend. I'm sleepy. I don't really want to like do anything with my hair. I really just got up, showered this morning, and I've been doing swatches all day. So I kind of just wanted to sit on my bed and hang out. I have, I'll show you. I have Giovanni hanging out with us. And then I have my notes and everything over here. So I figured that this would be okay, right? Can we just like talk about some things? Um, so for this Topic Tuesday, I'm kind of like just catching up on random Topic Tuesdays. I'm sure you guys know I've posted a few of them. Um, but I'm just kind of catching up on random ones. I'm not really following what's on the current one, but that doesn't matter. We'll just get into the topics I'm going to talk about today. So the first topic is the least favorite part of doing a manicure. I hate all the maintenance. I hate filing, doing the cuticle remover. I hate all of that. It is not my favorite. Just like the general housekeeping items of like handling your manicure. I love painting my nails. I'll paint my nails all day. Um, I don't mind like waiting for them to dry. I don't mind any of that. I do not like maintaining my nails. The next one is all of the different finishes in order of what you like best to least. And I just went to Jess Ace 90's video where she did like dictionary, um, she did like dictionary terms for nail polish. She did a whole video about it. I'll link it below. And I just pulled all of the ones that I feel like I own or that I have owned and that I know about and put them in order. So the ones that she had on there that I know and like either possibly have or have owned and know how I feel about, I just pulled all those. There's 13 of them. Um, they're not in any order, but I'm going to read what I have and then I'll tell you my order. Um, so cream, sheer, jelly, crelly, matte, metallic, duochrome, scattered hollow, linear hollow, shimmer, texture, flaky, and glitter. So um, that is kind of like the essential ones that I think of when I'm thinking of different finishes. So I'll go in order now of the ones that I like and what I um, typically gravitate towards. So the first one is cream. I think that everybody pretty much knows that if you follow my channel. I really appreciate a good cream polish. It's the polish finish that I wear the most, um, like ever, like all the time. I'm pretty much, I would say 80% of the time I'm wearing a cream. Um, but I do also really appreciate a Crelly. That is number two. I love a white Crelly. That is why, um, Just Face 90s collections <laughs> recently have been killing me because she's been coming out with so many, um, really pretty like crelly polishes and a lot of them have been white like that whole mario collection is gorgeous third which kind of like when i was looking at all of the different options that i mentioned i picked scatter hollow for third because i feel like all of the zoya scatter hollow that i have i absolutely love and i really like wearing those so i feel like that had to be third um Four. I don't have very many of them, but I really enjoy a flaky. I think they're so cute and like they're so interesting depending on what color the flaky is and it can really change a polish and it's a lot different than like a glitter. Five is jelly. I love jelly polishes because I think they're so cool. They're so interesting. I have not even like ventured into like layering different polishes with the jellies, which I really would like to do at some point this year. I have a whole list of things that I want to do like with the different polish formulas um but I do really like a jelly I don't think that they're they're pretty high up on my list but sometimes the formulas are just hard to work with but I love a jelly and along the same lines I basically put these kind of at the same level like five six our shears I like shears because I love that look like that glassy jelly like squishy look but again, sometimes the formulas are not always the best. Um, okay, seven is texture. I really like texture polishes like the, again, the Zoya Pixie Dust are super interesting. Um, but they're kind of right in the middle for me. Like, I don't reach for them all that often, but I do really like wearing them. So eight and nine kind of go hand in hand. Um, eight is shimmer and then nine is glitter. I don't love shimmer polishes 
like more than glitters but I feel like the color of a shimmer if the color is really nice then it kind of carries the polish a little bit further glitters can be chunky and the color cannot be good and then if it has too many different color glitters it could just be a mess so those are kind of like on the same level for me and the next four are ones that like I really don't like um 10 matte I'm not a fan of matte nails. I typically will put a top coat on all of my matte polishes. 11 is metallic. I do have a handful of metallics, um, and I like them for nail art, like little dots and things like that, but I don't typically wear a full manicure of metallic nail polish. That's just not my thing. And then 12 is linear hollow. So I'm pretty sure in my collection I only have one linear hollow, and it's... Um, I never would have guessed and based on looking at it I'm fairly certain that it's a linear hollow I'm not sure I could be completely wrong I'm still like learning about the differences but I definitely know I like a scattered hollow better and I definitely know that I don't have a lot of linear hollows um I just don't think they're that interesting like they're super pretty but I just feel like it's like just a circle of rainbow and a polish I don't know I don't love them the last one I don't have any of like I don't I can't remember anything in my nail polish collection that is a duo chrome and I'm pretty sure that I've had some that I've gotten like in D stash or like random things and I get rid of them. I don't like the duo chromes. I've never really seen a color combination that um kind of transitions in a way that I like so I just don't wear them. But yeah that's my order. Um hopefully while I was talking I put up pictures of all of those but I'm not sure if I have all of them or pictures of all of them, but if you go watch Jess's video, she really explains like in depth what all of the different terms of nail polish means and she has timestamps. So you can go down into her description box and click on whatever one you're interested in learning about. I have to get up for the next part. The next part is how I rotate through um, my collection and I have just recently, it's been a year, I started last fall doing a um, seasonal polish rack. So I obviously have all of my polish in an Alex drawer. I'll show you guys that here in just a second. But I have all of my nail polish in an Alex 9 drawer. Um, and I love it. I love that storage. I think that it's great. It, it gives me a lot of storage, but it doesn't take up so much space. And they're in drawers, so they're hidden from the sunlight. And they're not like out on display, so I don't look like a crazy nail polish lady all the time. Um, but I do have an acrylic shelf that I got from Amazon. I will link my um, Amazon storefront down below and it'll show you everything I use for my nail polish. But um, my storefront is like an affiliate thing. But the nail polish rack is linked below that I use for my seasonal polish. So basically every season I will go into my collection and I will think about how many polishes I want to post for the next three months. Because my seasons are three months. That's how I see it. Um, I'll figure out what I want to post for the next three months and what I'm feeling and what fall colors Sorry and what fall colors I think are looking good and I will make a swatch wheel of 20 it's I have the little like I'll show you little fingernail things and it's they hold 20 so I put 20 of like the top like this is what I'm feeling for fall quintessential colors and I'll put all of those onto a swatch wheel and then all of the rest of them those 20 plus the other ones I have decided to post go on to my little seasonal polish rack and that is what I pull from for the next few months. So I really don't get into my drawers all of that much. I try to stick to what I have on here because I will, there's obviously colors I pull every year, but I try to pull colors that I maybe didn't wear last year or haven't worn in a while and I leave them out so I see them and that's what I have to work with. Um, but I'll get up and show you guys all of that. So this is my Alex 9 where I keep my whole collection. The bottom two drawers don't have nail polish in them. But so, I mean, this is a pretty large collection. I have close to um, like 320 nail polishes, I think. Um, this one's kind of empty because I grow. <laughs> and I'm trying to leave it open. Um, but I have close to 300 nail polish, like I said. So it is hard to like rotate through everything. But, like I said, I use, that's not what I want, I use these little swatch wheels. This is the one from last year when I first started doing 
the um, like fall, or when I first started doing the seasonal rack, it was last fall. So this was last year's colors and I kind of just pull whatever I'm feeling and I put them all onto a swatch wheel. And then I also use this acrylic shelf over here to hold everything. So obviously this is this year's swatch wheel. I haven't shown my fall polishes yet, I think when this goes up. So that will be coming. Um, but so I have the 20 polishes on the wheel and then I have all the other ones that I'm hoping to wear throughout the season. And I just put them all on here. So it always looks so like festive and it's kind of like a little decoration in my nail room. And then once I've worn them, I just move them up to this little container from the dollar store just to kind of see what I've worn. I'm really, really bad at um, letting you guys know what I've worn. I'm going to try to do that this year and do a video about what I actually wore from my seasonal polish rack. But yeah, that's how I rotate through my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm sorry that it was like really chill and like vlog style, but your girl is tired. <laughs> it was a long weekend. It's Monday. I'm going to have to go back to work. It's just not the best, but that's my current nail polish shelf. It looks so cute. And coming up will be um, a video about my fall polishes. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. <laughs>